think I'm live. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm just coming on here today because I had a lovely conversation with a client of mine this morning, and it inspired me to come on here and share my thoughts with you. So this lovely client of mine, she is, um, she is very motivated and she has Hashimoto's and she's very motivated um, to um, implement changes and she knows exactly what she needs to do in terms of nutrition and lifestyle changes. She realizes that there's a lot of things um, that come together and that need to change. However, for some reason, she also says that she gets going and she is highly motivated and she's a perfectionist, just like so many of us with Hashimoto's um, or an autoimmune disease, really. Um, so she implements all these things and um, she's very motivated and she sees some good results. And then six months in, she falls off the wagon and there might be just one little trigger. It might be the birthday cake at her sister's birthday party that um, sets her off and triggers her and she gets down the whole roller coaster of um, all the things that she wants to avoid in terms of nutrition, in terms of lifestyle. It sets it all off and then six months in, she is back to where she was at the beginning and she feels so bad that she um, reverted back to her old habits and all of these things. So it really spoke to me this morning because it is with anything in life. So change is hard. And we sometimes ask so much of ourselves. And because we're so um, determined that we want to change our health and we want to become better and we want to do it all perfectly and we, we want to do all the things, we want to do the detoxification, we want to like have a complete nutrition overhaul, we want um, implement lifestyle changes all at once, all at the same time. And what happens is we completely exhausting ourselves. Um, we have too high of expectation for us. It's hard to follow the regimen we're setting for ourselves. And, um, and then we get frustrated and we just slowly slip back into old habits because it's easier and because we've done it um, we have created these habits in the past and it gives us comfort. Um, so that's why I always say, take those baby steps and take it slowly and just start with one change. And it's really also the mindset piece that uh, it just allows you to really step back and see how far you've come, um, that not everything is perfect yet. There's a lot of things you can still do in order to change your habits and um, to improve your symptoms and um, to do all these things, but you don't have to do it all at once. So it's just one step that you take at a time and then you build on it and really create new habits for you that are realistic and that are approachable and you can do for yourself. And then slowly but surely over time, you will create this lifestyle change that you need in order to thrive with Hashimoto's. So um, I just wanted to throw that out there today um, because it's, it's such an important aspect of it all. And um, hence my post this morning, Throwback Thursday. Let's all just look back and see how far we've come with little steps um, all along the way. And um, yeah, we shouldn't forget where we want to be and set our goals. But even if we fall off the wagon a little bit, there's always a next day and always a new step you can take in order to hop back on and never forget where you're coming from. So have a good day, everybody. Enjoy this Thursday and I'll talk to you again soon.